Hello and welcome back. So I do have a video coming up. Uh, the last video was the UVC G3 unboxing. Uh, I will get to the demo video and the adoption video on Thursday. That's going to be June 23rd. That'll come out in the evening. But tonight everyone's trying to kind of take it easy. So I'm not going to tear out a bunch of equipment and terrorize everybody. So I want to do a quick video on uh, DPI and DPI has been around for a little while with Edge Max, but I will tell you that every time they do a release of the operating system, uh, the Edge Max OS, it just gets better and better. And so what DPI can do is it can look inside of, of packets, even sometimes encrypted packets, and tell us what's going on. And then we can take that information and we can build firewall policies based on this. So we do have some rudimentary uh, content filtering built directly into the edge router. And I have used it to block torrents and I use that combined with a DNS filtering service to give 100% assurance to the client or as close to 100% assurance. If somebody's using a VPN and, you know, unless we block all that VPN traffic, and even that's difficult now because VPNs are being routed over port 80, port 443. So then you really have to be able to dig into the packets. There are other firewall products that that do uh, have functions similar to DPI and actually allow you to create a man-in-the-middle at attack basically in your own network and actually peer into the, the SSL traffic. That is not what this is at this point. Where it's going, I don't know, but I will tell you that in using it is, is very powerful. And every time they've updated Edge Max OS, uh, the last couple of releases, it just gets more powerful and more powerful. So, uh, and if you go to the Ubiquity Network Support and Help Center, Edge Max, Edge Max getting started, and then you go to the Deep Packet Inspection. By the way, if you're going to go to Google and you're going to search for DPI, make sure you put the I on the end. So we'll scroll down. Uh, they do have another article that tells you how to create firewall rules using the deep packet inspection. So this is where you could block streaming media. You can block file sharing, things like that. I am going to do a video on that as well. But let's hop over to the edge router that we've been using in the last few demos. And this is a PoE, so it's a 5 port and is on version 1.8.5. To enable DPI, we come over to the Traffic Analysis tab. And you can see, see by default, it is disabled. And you can do a couple different things with the operational uh, status. And you can switch it to Host Only or Enabled. And enable Traffic Analysis with Application Identification using Deep Packet Inspection. Yes. So you see my CPU kicked up, you get an alert that it was turned on. We can also, if we, if we do hosts only, what this is going to do is it's going to enable DPI, or it's going to enable traffic analysis without DPI. So traffic will only be seen at the host level without application identification. So if you're wanting to kind of get a, a looking glass into what's actually going on in the network, you don't want to do the hosts only, you want operational status. Over here we're going to do uh, top hosts by uh, the default is transmit bytes, there's receive bytes or total bytes so we can switch over to total. You can see that currently there's only one device plugged in. So let's let's kick some traffic up. Here's the weather. We are currently under a tornado watch. So if we come over here, we do see we've got web other. So the weather.gov application must not be important enough to be singled out. Now you do see this Google Plus traffic. I am signed into my Google account, so you do see that. Let's try let's try Vimeo. 
We'll just scroll down, get some traffic coming from the site. Look, there's uh, Vimeo right there. And they must use Amazon for something or somebody, something that was requested from my machine when we went to the site. Something sitting out on Amazon. What else can we do? Uh, of course, YouTube. That should show up. There's YouTube. Uh, looks like we requested something from Facebook. So you can see we start accumulating statistics very quickly. What else can we do? Let's go to... Let's go out to uTorrent, and we'll just scroll down, make this thing generate some traffic. And then uh, uTorrent shows up, and you can see the category when I go over what the, the category is. So uTorrent built-in category, P2P. I'm trying to think. Let's see. No, uh, that's not what I wanted. Roblox.com. So I know a lot of kids use Roblox.com. Did it show up? And it did. So Roblox game, and you see the category game. So even on the Edge Router X with its limited resources, uh, Edge Max version 1.8.5 does have DPI enabled, so you should be able to check it out. So this is what it looks like on the edge router. Now what I want to show you is what it looks like on the Unify system. And I think Ubiquity has done a beautiful job with this. So this is a live site. You should not be able to see the URL or the site name. You can see WHOW. But this is 24 hours worth of traffic at a site. And when you talk about upper management liking high graphs, bar charts, all that good stuff. Man, does it get any better than this? It bright colors, grabs your attention, breaks it down. So we can see that in our overall traffic picture, 21.1 .1 gig was streaming media. So that if we come down here to streaming media, it breaks it down. There's YouTube, there's iTunes, there's Pandora, there's Netflix, some random MP3s. There's Spotify. Okay, so what's our next biggest colored section? Network protocols at 8.7 gigs. So we go over here. Google user content at 4.8 gig. That could be just about anything probably with Google. Then here's HTTP protocol over... Not sure what that is. Then there's Google SSL, Google APIs, Yahoo Authenticator. All right, what's our third one? Web, Web 2.0. We come over here to our our six gig of traffic. Somebody spends a lot of time on Amazon. I don't know if they're buying stuff, if somebody's got a shopping habit. 2.67 gigs of shopping habit. That's a big shopping habit. Uh, could be video. Uh, we've got standard HTTP traffic, some something that's classified as Google Chrome, Apple.com, Adobe.com. So you can see, we can scroll down to almost four gigs. There's Facebook, top in the list, 2.89 gig. Instagram, 809 meg. So, and in the, the video, the Unify 5.0.6 video that I did, I did show you where to enable this, the DPI stats, so you can go back. You do have to have a USG for this to work. At this time, I don't believe there's any firewall rules that we can make easily through the GUI. Although, we could try that. Let's see. Let's go to devices. And let's configuration. Yeah. Right now, right now, exposed in the GUI, there's nothing really, um, you know, that we can do, do with that. Now, if you do like to tinker with the JSON file, I'm sure... Uh, that you could make this tick. I'm not going to go into that right now, and I'm assuming that on the roadmap with Unify, I mean, Unify with every release just gets more powerful, and Ubiquity is really blowing me away with the products, you know, that they're, they're putting out, how powerful they are, how powerful they're becoming. 
at the price point. I don't think it gets any better at this point. So that's just a little bit about DPI. Come back and you know keep your eyes peeled. There will be a video on how to block streaming media using DPI. Um, I'm also going to have a video on using the edge router to remove ads. I can't claim that I that I came up with that. It is a post that's sitting out at the Ubiquity um, help site, but I will tell you that it works, and I will show you that it works by disabling my ad blocker. But when you're watching my YouTube videos, please don't use an ad blocker. But <laughs> anyway, if you if you like the the video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you've got any comments or questions about DPI, I'll try to answer those. Put those below, and come back next time.